All right, so let's say you needed to update a bunch of reconciliations. You need to reassign them from one person to another. Maybe um, someone's left the company or they're out on PTO for, for a couple of months. And so you need to uh, reassign those reconciliations to somebody else. A uh, couple of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you two methods right here. One way is to use the bulk assignment account screen. And so in this example here, let's say uh, Kim Wilson is leaving the company and we want to reassign all those reconciliations to Pat Black. Um, now Kim can obviously be a preparer on some recs. She could be an approver on some others, a reviewer on maybe some others. But let's assume she's just a, uh, a preparer on reconciliations. In this example, uh, you want to keep these two fields right here set to prepare. Okay. In the from drop down box, we want to pick Kim Wilson. Because it's her recs that we're reassigning. And in the to field, we want to pick the person that we're reassigning those recs to. In this case, it's Pat Black. Okay. Now keep in mind, if we if she if Kim Wilson was an approver on some recs or a reviewer on some recs, and you wanted to reassign who the approver and reviewer on those recs are. You would just need to change the role and set here to approver or reviewer. Okay. Uh, next thing to note is the groups field. You normally want to make sure that it's set to GL and grouped accounts. This way, the reassignment will take place for all grouped reconciliations and individually reconciliations. A lot of times, this field is defaulted to GL accounts only. And so if I didn't change it and it stayed as GL accounts only, uh, this reassignment would only take place for Kim's individually reconciled accounts. It wouldn't make the change to her grouped recs. So I'm gonna change that back to, to GL and grouped accounts. Now I'm gonna come down here and click the refresh button. And what you're seeing now down here is all the reconciliation that Kim is a preparer on. Okay, it's giving you a chance to, to view all the recs that you're about to, to reassign. Um, one important thing to note here is, is that notice that you're just seeing the first 15. Kim has 227 recs that she's a preparer on. And you really, you need to uh, change your results per page so that you can see all 227 down here. And you'll realize why uh, when I get to the, to the next step. So I'm going to change this to 500, click OK. And now notice I see all 227 recs um, in the screen. Okay. All right, the next step is to tell the system which, which one of these recs you want to uh, reassign to Pat Black. The majority of cases, especially in this example right here, will be all of them. So you just need to add a check mark to them and you can do that to all of them by clicking this select all option up here. So now notice all her reconciliations are check marked. Okay. The final step, okay, to actually tell the system to go ahead and reassign it is come up here and click the assign accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And now, all of Kim Wilson's reconciliations that she's a preparer on have now been changed to Pat Black. All right, now the second method that you can make some bulk changes is if you go into your account screen. And when I'm doing this, in my filter option over here, Again, I like to make sure that my, my GL and grouped accounts are selected. And in this screen right here, you could always check mark a bunch of recs, okay, if you wanted to, to make uh, changes in bulk to them. 
and come over to your Actions button and click the Manage Assignments. And then notice here, I have the ability to change who the preparer, approver, reviewer is. And whatever I select in here, it will make the changes to these eight reconciliations that I checkmarked. So let's say I wanted to change the preparer on these. I want to make them all pat black. I would just pick, pick pat black's name and then click the save button and update. And the system's going to update those eight recs with the new preparer on. Thank you.